Hey guys, so welcome back to Cobblemon in Minecraft. That is Pokemon, a Pokemon mod in Minecraft, but this time with a hyper realistic shader in the background that makes the game look beautiful. And I love playing like this. This this never gets old. This is what default game looks like, by the way. <laughs> Jeez, that makes a huge difference. It's crazy. There's a Mankey over there. Let me go show you what the Mankey looks like in base graphics, okay? So the Pokemons don't change at all. Like, this is still going to look the same. But boom, in a realistic world, it looks cooler. Well, it looks the same, but the world around it looks cooler. Look at Bulbasaur following me. Isn't he cute? Look at him. So this is what Gyarados looks like as a Pokemon in the high shader mod, making everything look nice and beautiful. If you want to do this in this video, I'm going to show you how to do exactly this. Otherwise, your game's going to look like this. And while it's not terrible, I do much prefer the higher quality of the, the shader with the game like this. It feels and looks so much nicer. And we're going to show you how to do it. So this is going to be an addition to installing Cobblemon. Now, Cobblemon is a mod that you can see how to install from my previous video. If you didn't see that one, it's linked in the description down below. That is the one that is going to get you these beautiful Pokemon in the game and be able to throw Pokemon out and play. But anyway, I digress. If you did install Cobblemon the same way I showed you in the previous video, this is going to be super easy to add these nice shaders in this perfect looking world into your game as long as your computer is strong enough to handle it. So in the video, we're actually using Silder's Vibrant Shaders. I'm going to give you this link in the description. You can basically find the one that you need for the game version as well as the quality of the shader that you're able to use. So you'll see there's six different kinds here, starting with the lowest one, which is light. If your computer is like quite weak, medium, if you can maybe push your computer's like strength to the higher point. If you have a really good computer, you can obviously go high, high, MB, extreme, extreme volumetric lighting. In this video, I'm using the extreme volumetric lighting. Now, if you recall in our Cobblemon video, we had to use Cobblemon version for the game 1.19.2. So you have to go in this game version column over here and look for the one that you need in 1.19.2. So this one is going to be over here. It's going to be extreme volumetric lighting. And you just pick based on these over here, based on which one your game can handle. So we're going with extreme volumetric lighting and we're going to click download file. And this will basically take you to a download. It will immediately download the file for you, which is great, but we're not done. We need two other mods. We need one mod called Iris Shaders. And I'm going to give you this link. You can find it in the description of this video. Now, when you get to this page, all you have to do is scroll down. You're going to click featured versions here. Click see all. And this will show all the different versions over here. As usual, we're looking for fabric and we're looking for 1.19.2. You can see this one over here says fabric or quilt. And it says 1.19 to 1.19.2, which means this is the file we need. We're just going to go ahead here and we can click this little green button here to actually download it nice and easy. And that will download the jar file for us. The next file is sodium. This is also linked in the description down below in this video. Same thing, same page. You're going to go featured versions, see all, and you're going to look for fabric and you're going to look for 1.19.2. So this one over here, there are two of them. Just download the, the newest version of sodium. So there's sodium 0.4.4 or sodium 0.4.3, but they both work with 1.19.2. So just download the newest one here and click the green button over here and it will download. Now, in our previous video, when we installed Cobblemon, we used CurseForge, which I'm hoping you're using as well. If not, you will have to navigate to your mods folder. But in this way, we just go to our Minecraft, our My Mod Packs. You can see here is our Cobblemon 1.19.2. We just right click this. We go open folder and inside here we'll have mods. And in our downloads folder, we downloaded Sodium and we downloaded Iris. You actually just have to drag these two into the mod folder over here. As you can see, I've already got them. So you should have five mods as if you were following my video. You can probably add other mods to your game too, if that was what you wanted to do for single player. Just make sure you copy the same thing. Make sure it does work for Fabric and 1.19.2. And you can actually change your game entirely even more. Now for Silder Shaders, to install this, you actually just go backwards one from the where you saw the mods folder over here. And you're actually going to have a folder here called Shader Packs. This might not be here for you just yet. And there is an easier way, but you basically paste this inside the Shader Packs. But we can actually do this from within the game as well. So we're going to go ahead here and we're going to click play. And this is going to open up Minecraft's launcher. 
you'll see Cobblemon 1.19.2 selected over here and we're just gonna go ahead and click play. When Minecraft is open, you can go ahead and hit options, video settings, and then right at the top over here, shader packs, and you can actually press this button over here, it says open shader pack folder, click that, and this will actually open the folder for you to just take your downloads and just drag it in there. And that's how you basically add your, your shader mod, the Silder's Vibrant Shaders to make your game look perfect. And then you go back to your game, you select the shaders and you just make sure you hit apply after you enabled it. It should be in yellow like this, which means it is selected. And then in your game, you will now have the perfect looking world, which as you recall, looks exactly like this. And that is how you can add a nice real life looking shader to Minecraft for Cobblemon, the Pokemon mod in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.